you are watching electrical engineering lectures channel for more videos please do like subscribe and hit the bell icon for the latest notifications hello guys welcome to another video in the previous videos i have shown you how to solve the crash problem of proteus software during simulation so most of the time i have been asked by many people that how to add a new component library in the proteus since it is not always sure that the component which you want to simulate or work on is present in the proteus so most of the time you will definitely face the problem so let us begin with the solution of this problem the first step is to download the library of the component which you want to search so you can have many platforms where you can download the library of that component but for me the most preferable platform is this website the link of this website is given in the description the reason is that it does not have any ads it can simply register you on its forum and then you can easily download and it has a very extensive library of proteus components so here is the link you just type the link in the browser and this page will open the next thing he will ask you to register on this site you only have to enter the credentials your name and the valid email and nothing else and you will be registered on this website after the registration process this is the interface you will see so now i want to search mur1560 is a diode and this is also a request of one of my subscriber here you go the search for mur1560 power rectifier has opened in front of you you can see that the item number 1 is downloadable and all other versions of this rectifier is on request so if the exact model is not available to download you can request the component and they, it will be available in a week or so so now i am going to download the library of mur 150g you can see here the direct downloadable link is available without any ad just click on download the ecad model so you can see that it is a zip file you have to unzip the file the next step is that you can see here the zip file of this folder is created now you have to unzip this you need winrar software for this i have already unzipped this folder now open this folder again open this folder and you can see a lot of files in this folder this library contains all the essential requirements of this component for the simulation as well as it also has a pcb package for the proteus arrays so if you want to use it in the proteus arrays for pcb designing you can also have this library in this folder now next thing is that go directly into the proteus software you don't need to add anything in the library you can do it directly by using the software just click the library first of all let's search whether this component is already present in the library or not mur 1560 you can see that no component appear in the search list now we are sure that this component is not present in the proteus the next stage is go to the library under library just click import parts select file now you can see that it requires dot pdif file extension you can browse to the folder where you have downloaded this and so let me go to the start of this folder 
let's start with the desktop so my file is in the download in the compressed folder here you go double click it again now you need to scroll down and search proteus folder here you go double click it and you can see that the file with the name mur1560 with an extension of pdif appears in this folder double click this to add this file import part the package name will automatically be picked by this software and if you are not sure about the category of this component you can place under any component this is a through hole package and definitely it is a diode so it must come under the package sub category you need to define all the categories of this component so that it will appear in the search properly and this is a package description now what i am going to do i will save this package under user package library next so you can see here that the pcb package model of this component is also included in the library click okay yes again you can rename the device but i'll just skip this step step click next next the details of this component appears in this section under property definition you don't need to change any of these details click next you can skip this step if you don't want to include that data sheet part you can see here that i am going to save this under the user device library okay close here you can see that the component appears in the component list click it and place it here okay just remove this component and search this in the keywords you can see here that the component now appears in the search results along with the simulator model and the pcb preview so this way you can add the library of any component that you want but it must be available on some platform i hope you will like this video so stay tuned and keep watching and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon